So what up, gamers? You know who it is. Welcome to the Shake Cave. <laughs> For some of you guys, this is an update. Some of you guys have already visited the Shake Cave in a previous video. This is where I sit down and do my videos, my editings, my Blue Snowball mic, my Beats by Dre headphones, and the wallpaper of the ankle bully. My new chair. And this is the lounge area. This is where I do most of my gaming, my, my Netflix, my chilling. And you guys remember that painting? This is my shelving, some of my old movies, just some old things there, some books. But the real topic of discussion is Control Freak. Should you buy them? Are they worth it? These are my two controllers. The one on the left I use for sports games. And I, as you can see, I'm using the Control Freak attachments onto my analog sticks. And this is my Call of Duty controller with the Control Freak attachment as well. And for all the Chicom CQB gameplays, you'll notice I'm using Control Freak. And look at this control. As you can see where the palm of my hands are, I've diminished the finish <laughs> on this control. It's worn down. I've been gaming on this control for a long time. And so I no longer am able to use that control for Call of Duty. When I'm in fast paced action, I need the control to stick to my hands. So I've got this nice rubber finish on this Call of Duty control. And I actually had to dig this control from out of its grave. Because it, it, had, it actually comes with a plastic analog stick. So the control freak give it that nice rubber finish and now it has better grip. So we're going to dive into some gameplay. And as you can see, I'm using the Chicom CQB. I know some of you guys call it the Chickum. <laughs> I don't know who came up with the word Chickum. I don't know if that's right or wrong. But I am prior military and Chicom just sounds right to me. But, you know, for safekeeping, I do call it the CQB. If that offends any of you guys, <laughs> get over it. But that's neither here nor there. The topic of discussion is, should you go out and buy yourself some of the Control Freak attachments for your analog sticks on your controllers? And I plan on doing some reviews on some controls, some attachments, all these type of things to help you guys get better. This is my best way. This, this is actually part one of a two-part series of my review on Control Freak. So some of you guys are like, what are Control Freak? What are those attachments? Well, like I said, they're just attachments that go on your analog sticks and they're designed to help improve your accuracy and decrease your reaction time. And so your first question could be, you know, do Control Freaks or do these Control Freak attachments, do they improve your aim? And my answer to that is absolutely. absolutely. If you're playing games like Call of Duty or Modern Warfare 3 or Battlefield 3, Halo, Gears of War, you will see an increase in your aiming ability. But if you're someone who's already a beast, you're someone like like Thunder or Fisticuffs or Jive Turkey, even though Jive doesn't want to admit it, maybe you're already a beast at all these shooting games as it is and you don't need a control freak. Maybe you're someone that's like Fisticuffs and you, you use the claw hold on your controls. <laughs> Or you're like, you're like Jive Turkey who's managed to figure out a way to hold his controls in that retarded stance as well. You know, if that's the case, maybe you don't need control a control freak attachment. But I've gotten used to using them and in my opinion they do improve your aim, your speed, your precision. And in some cases they add a little bit more grip to your control. The next question could be... Are, control, are these control freak attachments easy to use? And that's a good question because when I initially started using them because I my, my hands had been so used to holding the control a certain way, just like going back and look, hold on, I'm gonna give this guy a C4 sandwich. C4 sandwich? I know he was hungry. <laughs> but yeah, they did actually hurt my hands initially, but that's the same way I would be if I was to use a Wii controller or 
a PlayStation 3 control. I have big hands. I, I can grip a basketball really easily. So I like my control to be a certain way. And the control freaks extended my thumbs out. And it made it feel a little weird at first. But I used them for a whole week. And all the gameplays that you'll see from me using the Chi-Com CQB aiming with this gun, I'll be using the Control Freak attachment. So, they're not necessarily easy to use right out the gate. You know, the first day you might have a little trouble getting used to those controls. But, in my opinion, once you get used to them, they'll definitely improve your game. I already mentioned some of the better games to use these attachments for. Games like Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield, Halo, Gears of War, but they can be used in other games. And I also have a pair of the Sports Control Freak attachments, which I will be reviewing in the next video for my sports, my sports game. So the Control Freaks don't really cost a whole lot. They start somewhere around $10 and they go up from there. I will show you guys, or I'll leave a link in the description for the website. But I hope this video helped. I do recommend the Control Freak Attachments. It's your boy Shake. I'll holla at you dudes later. later.